Hi everyone, today I would like to show you how to use ePlatform Digital Library for your school. So first thing, this is our demo website. So the, our demo website is myh2.eplatform.co. If your school is subscribed to us, we will customize your school logo and also your school name here. So first things first, you can log in at this sign in button. We have our apps in App Store, Google Play and Microsoft. If you're using a phone, a tablet or an iPad, you can download our mobile app to log in using uh, the mobile app. If you're using a PC, or a laptop you can just go to any browser and key in this link to sign in so this is the home page we will usually show the popular titles the listening favorites and i have customized the web page here we have put some chinese primary titles and popular primary titles so we have new releases as well and latest additions. Every month, we'll add in new collection, uh, new books into this collection. Okay, so I'll go sign in here. So I'm using my demo account. Okay, you can click sign in on this device. Okay, uh, keep me sign in on this device. Or if you are a new user, you can register here and uh, key in all the details and we'll uh, give you a demo account to try on it. Okay, so this is the admin page where the admin can uh, view all the reports and have their control so first i'll go to browse to show you how to read a book or listen okay, so this is the page where you can browse so currently we have around 2000 books in this collection you can see the books with an earphone it is an audiobook and the book that doesn't have the earphone sign it is an ebook you can use these filters to check all the books so we have fiction and non-fiction titles and ebook and audiobook so they're also filtering uh, you can filter using the different age group or team Okay, so I'll just demo one of the audiobook to show you. Uh, example, uh, this Harry Potter title. So each of the user is uh, allowed to borrow two books at a time, two ebooks. And if your school is subscribed to our audiobook plan as well, so you can have two ebooks and two audiobooks. So each book is available for the user for two weeks and it will be automatically returned back into the system. So you can see uh, there are some recommended titles here in uh, our, it is uh, suggesting the books that you have. Uh, uh, selected which is this harry potter title some of the titles that is similar to the title you have chosen so we have all the details about the book here the author the publisher uh, the number of pages the autobiography and so you can click on this button to view uh, preview the book normally it will show one to two chapters and this is also a short introduction about the book. So I'll just go ahead and click borrow. After clicking borrow, it will be in my account for two weeks and the two weeks has started. So you can click read to read the book. And if you have finished reading the book, you can just click return. Okay.
okay so this is the content of the book so uh, it will show uh, you can click left and right to read the book You can see here the Riddle House, the villages of Little Hangleton still call it the Riddle House, even though it had been many years since the Riddle family have lived there. So all the content of the book is here. You can read the whole book, the Harry Potter, and there are 37 chapters. And you can go to the different chapters by clicking the shortcut key here. And here you can have the night reading mode change to the dark background and you can change to different colors of the background by clicking this changing this, the color the font style the text size the line spacing here and you can also do a bookmark example you can click at the top of the page and it will show in your bookmark and we have also some functions here example you can click on to any of the word example wardrobe okay and then there is define so it will show you the meaning of the word or you can also click view google results and it will bring you to the meaning of the word and translation into any language that you want like Malay or Chinese. So this will show the meaning of the word. Okay, so this is one of the function. So I'll just go ahead to return this loan. I can click here to return this loan okay so for an audiobook i can click on to an audiobook to listen so you can play the sample here as well right so it puts here the interest age 7 to 11 years old okay so i'll just click listen and it will be able to listen to the content of the book I'll just play a sample of the book so now it's actually downloading into your system your PC or laptop Chapter 1 Mrs. What's It it was a dark and stormy night. In her attic bedroom, Margaret Murray, wrapped in an old patchwork quilt. So this is the sample of the audiobook. The whole book narration. The whole book can be listened via clicking and borrowing onto the audiobook. So I'll just go out now. Okay, so you can see here at the bottom, this is the book that you have borrowed into your hand. So and you can click on to show loan history to see the book that you have borrowed before the last month. And let me click on to the admin site to show you the admin pages. So mainly you can check the loans and the reports of the users of your school at these analytics and reports. So uh, the reports that I'm going to show you is only a demo site. It's not of any particular school. So you can check on the analytics and reports. Okay, so you can see the monthly loans either ebook or audiobook or if you have any private titles here and also any reservation of the books you can see here and you can view the most popular book being borrowed 
in this list and the users that have followed the groups and example you can click onto the user and view their loan history the details of the user and any past loans or active loans of the user okay so for users patrons uh, patrons is user you can add any user or remove right. so you have to key in the username the password and the name these are compulsory fields to key in and the rest you can assign the user whether to give them an administrator role normally it's the librarian teacher and also the shopping role which wishes to view the shop to purchase any private titles okay you can also restrict the field level of the books uh, allowing the students to borrow the book according to their age so this is the function here where you can restrict the titles and you can see the monthly we are adding new books into this collection at this uh, library catalog function so only the administrator can view all this information and has the control but not the user okay you can see we have added new books this month in february and we have added also in january and december so every month we are adding new books into this collection so you are sure to have new books to read every month so uh, that is all for now i hope that you fully understand uh, what is e-platform is really beneficial for your school students if your school is subscribed to us students can access all these titles and you can have a digital library for your school and you also know whether the students are reading by checking on to the reports so students can access ebooks anywhere anytime by subscribing to ePlatform Digital Library. So please contact us if you have any questions or if you would like to subscribe to ePlatform Digital Library, please contact us. Thank you so much for watching us.